Hi my friends, today we model this part with the name elastic clip. You see, it is very interesting and the drawing is this one. We start by creating this contour then we extrude it on 54 and good luck dimensions are radius 33 50 18 74 this distance interesting 6.1 and this point black point is placed on the same horizontal with the center point this will be the center point let's do this new standard millimeters IPT new sketch XY plane circle with a radius of 33 then lines horizontal of 95 vertical of 18 We go on this line, no, this, because we'll place it on the same horizontal and we have to see this. Another line and a horizontal here. Trim this arc and this arc dimension of 6.1 here the same horizontal between these two points 50 60 degrees is this in the drawing 74 is this and 64 this distance fully constrained sketch finish sketch extrude symmetrical 54 good there is a hole here diameter of 40 we select hole we select the face and also the center then the diameter of 40 is no threaded no nothing through all the value is 40 then we apply this cut of three millimeters it is symmetrical about this uh, center point of course this is the face for a new sketch we use rectangle in three points this dimension is three we place this midpoint here we apply collinear between this line and this line because the angle is okay you see 60 degrees and this is perpendicular on 60 degrees we have a fully constrained sketch yes sir finish sketch extrude this 
cut all the way through the part. Okay. Another cut is uh, this one, the keyway. 12, 23.3 from the center and 25 is the, the angle. This is the face. Once again, a rectangle in three points. One, this is 12. We take advantage of each moment. This must be coincident. The angle is 25. And this dimension is 23.3. Finish sketch, extrude. This is the profile. Cut is the solution. And all the way is the depth. You see? Okay. Now I place that uh, two chamfers of 5.45 degrees in order to not forget. I forget all the time. Okay. Another major hole is this one, diameter of 32, 68 from the center point. We turn back the part, we place a point somewhere, but to be aligned with this center point and at the distance 68. Finish sketch, hole 32. Okay, good. Then we focus on these two holes with counter bore. Dimensions are here, one and other sides of this cut are uh, dimensions. As you can see, 5 15 9 is the counter board at an angle of 60 degrees which means parallel with this the other side is uh, metric 8 with a pitch of 1 20 16 the distance is 30 from the center point the placement is uh, this one 26.6 uh, symmetrical about this plane good we start with that plane the base is xy and we move it to the left at 26.6 uh, divided by 2 Okay, this plane is for a new sketch. The sketch is uh, only for the counter bore because we have to uh, place this in three points only on this side. This uh, line is aligned with this line this is uh, center line and we place another rectangle this one okay we keep both areas here. Dimensions parallel this line 
with this line then uh, I suppose these are coincident yes they are dimensions of uh, Fifteen. The other is nine, and this is uh, five. Five. We project this line, and we make coincident this point with this line yes then another dimension is the distance the distance between the center point and the axis not uh, a linear diameter but a distance 30 now we have a fully constrained sketch, finish, revolve, what to revolve asks us inventor. Both areas, my friends, the axis is known. We apply cut. Okay. We hide this plane and we go to the other hole. The other hole is uh, threaded, metric 8, pitch 1, it is placed on this face with center here and with an end. Dimensions are 16 and, and 20. This is for the thread, this is the hole. Okay, you see the result. Now we apply mirror for both holes. This is the revolution, this is the hole. About XY plane. You see here where it will be. Other holes are also counterbore with the dimensions here 14 diameter, 5 radius 26, and 45 degrees, 4 holes. We turn back the part, we select this face for a new sketch, and we start from the center at a distance of 26, tab 45, and we have a point here. Finish sketch, hole, this is uh, counter bore the position is here and all dimensions are here but through yes this is through you will see that uh, this uh, solution is not okay let's see then I apply circular between sec uh, circular pattern for this hole about this axis four not five not six holes and you see here something interesting this is uh, the end of the hole so that we have to change the solution 
control Z and the hole must be ended on this plane yes this uh, end with cut uh, conical cut is not accepted in this uh, situation okay now we apply circular pattern of this last hole or feature on four instances okay now you see there are all four holes in place good we finished the part so let me see what is the volume physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is identical <laughs> with the former one absolutely ad identical good then we have to select the material steel carbon and the view of uh, default lights now we can compare the two and you don't see any difference okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye